So Eureka have just released the Minion Libra, a grind by weight version of their popular Minion Special Lita, which was grind by time. So we're gonna look at this new machine and we've got the obvious comparison next to it, the Barraza Seti 270WI. In many ways, both these machines are similar in the sense that they're both home machines, grind by weight, they're both small, almost identical height, and there's this head to head, but there's one big difference. You got conical burrs versus flat burrs, and you got espresso focus versus filter to espresso machine. We'll get into that in a bit. First things first, let's make a coffee out of the Eureka, see how it goes, and then we'll dive in, talk specs, and make a coffee on the Barazza too, just for comparison. Both grinders are set to 20 grams. Just gonna lock in the porter filter and let it grind. There you go, 20 grams. It is normal for it to do that little top up at the end. As it gets closer, it starts just calibrating itself a bit finer. Now we've got 20 grams, we're just gonna tamp. So being that this is based on the Eureka Mignon Specialita, which we're very familiar with, the grind's what we expect, which is very consistent and quite fluffy. And the grinder itself is quite quiet. We'll go more into that in a second. Let's just make a coffee and see how it performs. Locking it in, we're using the new stone coffee machine out of Milan in Italy. And just looking at the espresso, the crema looks solid. and the espresso is really nice. It's what you'd expect from Eureka. And if you already have a Eureka like the Special Eater, which this is based on, it's what you're gonna be familiar with. Considering it's coming out of a heat exchange and vibrating pump, it is a really nice coffee. So looking at both of these grinders in a little bit more detail to see where they're similar and where they're quite different. From the outside, they're very similar in size, almost identical height with the Barazza being a little bit deeper. From a programming perspective, the Barazza has three preset times you can set, while the Eureka has two, a single and a double. You can also grind on demand. So if you need to top up or whatever it might be, you can hit both the single and double and move it into a grind on demand. When it comes to adjusting the grinder, Eureka has a stepless worm drive, so you can move it as much or as little as you want to really dial in that espresso. And that's something I've always really liked, the ability to dial in the Eureka to that nth degree. With the Barazza, it's a notched approach or a stepped approach, and it's got 270 steps. What it basically has is 30 macro and nine micro down here. So you can move the macro step and then the micro and also really dial it in, but not infinitely like the Eureka. In saying that, if you're moving from espresso to filter and back, it makes it a lot easier on the Barazza because you can remember where it was, the number and the letter, and you can move it to say to another combination and back really easily. With the Eureka, it's a little bit harder as you have to turn the worm drive generally around two and a half rotations to go from one to the other and back. And on the way back, as you bring in those flat blades together, you do need to grind to bring it back or have the grinder with no coffee. Talking about blades, with the Barazza, you're using a 40 mil steel conical blade called the S1 made by Etzinger. While on the Eureka, you're using a 55 mil steel flat blade made by Eureka. Now there's a big debate between conical and flat and which is better for home espresso or for even filter coffee. And the answer to that really depends on personal preference. We are finding that for espresso, 
it's becoming a lot more popular to have a flat blade grinder. You're seeing it both commercially and residentially. So the answer to that really is personal preference and it's a hard one to answer. But in saying that, having the conical blade on the brass does make it a lot faster. It is a very, very fast grinder. And the way they've set it up with the RRB technology or the external blade, the rotating ring burr, so the external blade rotating, you're basically grinding from the coffee straight through to your porter filter. It's a very neat grind. It lands on your porter filter vertically. It's a very neat, very minimal to zero retention. When on the Eureka, it's more the standard blade with the three prongs around that turns and goes through a shaft. So it doesn't land as neatly. It's not as fast, but it is a lot quieter. The end result, and you'll see when we grind from the Baratza, is they're both quite consistent and quite fluffy, but the way it gets there. The Baratza, noisier and faster. The Eureka, a lot quieter. And then for minor details, the hoppers, both of them hold around 300 grams of coffee and the porter filter supports are really quick and easy to adjust. On the Eureka, you literally just turn that and bring it up and down to match your porter filter. And with the Baratza, use a little Allen key just to move this support to change that height there. So if you did want to, as I say, go from espresso to filter, you could push those prongs down to move those supports out of the way. But really what these grinders are about is being able to grind by weight rather than time, which is a which I feel is the way the industry is going, both commercially and residentially. Now that we've looked at the specs and basically the similarities and differences between the two, let's grind out 20 grams from the Brazza, put it through the machine, see how it does on an espresso, and then finally compare both machines. Putting in the porter filter there and just bringing it to number one, which we've got 20 grams and hitting play. One thing, the Baratza really is a fast grinder. And looking at the coffee, it's very consistent and even. It was obviously a little bit of a loud grinder. Bringing that in, giving it a tamp, and locking it in. Once again, we're using the same stone machine, which is a vibrating pump with heat exchange. Looking at the crema, it is a really solid crema. And the coffee, really nice. It is different though, and it's just more the difference between flat and conical blade than any other. We're still using the same machine, same water, and both coffees are enjoyable. It's just hard to say which one I prefer. Probably more so on the Eureka side, but I'll be happy with either. And that's the same thing with both these grinders. I'd be happy with either. Personally, I'd probably pick the Eureka because it's a little bit quieter and I like the design and build better. But that's only a personal preference. Realistically, when it comes to the coffee and the way it's ground, both are very consistent and really performing machines, especially for their price in a home environment. Curious to know though, what do you prefer? Conical blades or flat blades? Presuming grind on demand, or which of these two brands do you have, Baratza or Eureka? If you want to know more details on each of these grinders, we've done a video on the Baratza 270WI, as well as a video on the Eureka Mignon Libra. And like always, if this video has brought you value, hit that thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Thank you, and see you on the next video.